Now the first step is to stop audio service before launching the game and then enable the audio service as soon as you launch the game. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services over here. Now find audio service over here. Windows audio. So you will see Windows audio over here. Make a double, uh, make a double click or you can simply make a right click and then click on stop over here. So as soon as the game is launching, now you can start the audio service and then you can check. Now the next step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to set full screen to false in graphics settings. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open binaries folder, open settings folder. Here you can see uh, TK graphics settings, make a right click and then open with notepad. And then over here you can see full screen, you can set the value to false. So if this is set to true like this, you can just type in false over here. And then go to file, click on save. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to rename or delete the graphics file now for this go to the same location and then this time you can rename this or you can even delete it so you can rename or delete this when you do so all the saved settings will be lost now you can i'm just renaming it you can even delete it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to delete everything in this location now for this open file explorer in computer go to this pc open c drive open program data if you don't see program data at the clock at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open program data folder now find nvidia folder over here you can see nvidia open nvidia open ngx folder open models folder and delete the delete everything from here and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working rename or delete the sl.pcl.dll file now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files open binaries and then find this slpcl.dll you can if you want you can create a backup you can copy it paste to the desktop or you can simply make a right click and then rename it now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working disable steam cloud and rename the save game files when you rename the save game files, you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. Now, if you agree, you can uh, go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, op open the roaming folder and over here, uh, find hello games folder. And over here you can see this NMS, NMS folder. Now, actually this has all the save game files. So before you rename it, uh, you, if you want, you can create a backup. You can paste it to the desktop. Uh, once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click on NMS folder and then you can rename it. All the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. Now the next step is to, and you have to disable Steam Cloud. Now for this, you can go to uh, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the Steam Cloud over here, and then launch the game, and then you can check. Now, once the game is up, up and running, you can, if you want, you can enable your Steam Cloud. Now the next step is to close or uninstall these application. Now, if you are using FPS monitor, if you are running FPS monitor, if you find FPS, FPS monitor running, you can close it or you can uninstall it. You can close OBS. So if OBS is running, make a right click and then you can exit and then you can check. If that does not work, uninstall OBS. Overwolf, if this is running, close it, not run, uh, not working, uninstall it. Also metal application. Now this has, these has, these 
application is causing the problem. So uninstalling or closing this application has worked for many players. So you can try this metal if you're running, turn off metal or you can uninstall metal and then check if you have Bonzo, Nahimik. Once you uninstall these application, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can make sure these application are gone from these location and then you can relaunch the game. Next is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open binaries folder and then make a double click over here and launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties. Now disable or enable compatibility mode. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if this is checked, if this is already checked, in that case, you can uncheck this box. This has worked for many players, so unchecking this has worked. So first of all, you can uncheck, hit apply if this is already checked. If not checked, you can put a check over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, click on change high DPI settings. You can put a check over here pro under program DPI, put a check over here click on OK, hit apply and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, change high DPI settings, put a check over here, override and then click on OK, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. So you can try to put a check and then check if that does not work, you can hit check, hit uncheck and then hit apply apply is important and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website so select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here your operating system and then click on start search at the very top you will see the uh, the latest graphic card driver click on get download and then you can click on download now and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow then click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option make sure that you select custom then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check over here then click on next after the clean installation is done now restart your computer after the system restart launch the game similarly if you have amd card go to amd website first of all Uninstall the current graphic card driver installed on your computer. Uninstall it, restart your computer, then go to AMD website and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card. This is just an example. I don't have AMD graphic card. And then click on submit. And then if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And whichever is the latest, uh, you can click on download and then you can run the exe file, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings over here and, and click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, binaries, Win6, uh, sorry, binaries and then select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on the game exe file over here and then select high performance over here. Desktop users, make sure that you connect the HDMI cable or the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot. Now, if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, and then click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file and then click on open. And type in type in control panel and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings at the top. Click on on the app. Click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add.
in my case it is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to steam make our account the game select properties in the launch option we can type in dash dx11 close this launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 over here launch it and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this you can search in google and you can go to microsoft website here you can see visual c++ go to microsoft website here you can see the files over here uh, download this x86 and x64 so click on it and then run the run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file now if you see the repair option again click on repair or if you see install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed restart you can be the restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to uninstall this open cl open gl and welcome now for this uh, you can open windows settings go to apps and then go to install apps or apps in feature in windows 10 and then uh, find this file name is open seal so scroll down and find it yeah here you can see open seal open gl and vulcan now click on these three dots in windows 10 simply click on it and then uninstall uninstall once the uninstall is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game in future like if you want to install it once you're done once you're done playing the game and if you need this then you can uh, go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description and you can click on download and then you can just uh, install it from here uh, you can run this file this will open microsoft store on your computer and then you can install it once you are done playing the game if you want to install it you can install it from here now still not working perform clean boot now to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart check still not working the next step is to disable overlay like if you have the steam overlay open uh, running make a right click go to properties turn off this steam overlay if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay if you have any over do not overclock if you have overlock overclock your computer set it to default and close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reva tuner if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have any external devices which you are not using like hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then check next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options and now over here uh, if you see this power saver option hit power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check still not working uh, the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios after the bios update launch the game next step is if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game turn off dlss try window mode lower down video settings and then reset graph if that does not work reset graphics to default now once you launch the game uh, you can go to options go to options and then go to display and graphics scroll down here you can see entirelyzing now if this is set to dls you can turn this off now this has worked for many players so it might work for you 
So here you can see I turned it off. Now after you turn it off, apply and then you can check. Still not working, then try. You can just select bordered over here and then lower down resolution. And graphics quality, if this is set to like uh, uh, enhanced, you can set it to high. You can even go for standard. So set it to standard and then hit apply and then restart and then you can check. Still not working. In that case, uh, you can go to options once again, go to display and graphics. You can reset the graphics settings. So click on reset to default. Click on yes and then restart your computer. Uh, restart the game and then you can check. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.